What happens in a riot? We're mad at the police, we're mad at the government. And what do we do? We destroy our own neighborhood. We victimize ourselves. What about how we celebrate as a culture? When we win an event, we get a raise or a promotion, what do we all do? We go get drunk, we go get stoned, we overeat, we victimize ourselves. And that, the overwhelming truth of that, sends us into denial. Stage four. Look at what we have to admit. One, I'm not who I really think I am. And two, I am the author of my own self-destruction. Who wants to own that? No one's shown us how. And that kicks the cycle all over. We keep repeating it over and over and over. I liken the process to a 3D movie, watching one without the glasses. You ever do that? You notice how the images and colors are distorted, but you kind of know what's going on because you've seen a movie. So there's something familiar about it. Well, that's literally how all of us live our life, what we don't realize is every choice we ever make, our friends, our hobbies, our careers, our relationships, all we are ever doing is reliving our worst day cycle, screaming back at us the trauma, the fear, the shame, and the denial we haven't addressed and ultimately haven't forgiven ourselves for. But what are we missing? Why can't we see it? We don't have the glasses. Well, that's what I discovered, the glasses. So now I want to show you how I discovered it and where it showed up in my own life. Now, this is a newspaper article from 32 years ago. That's my older brother. He had just signed a contract with the New York Islanders and a couple years later I was going to turn pro myself. Now remember I said I never wanted to play pro sports. Well, you can see by the title of the article, my brother and I did what brothers do, we fought. Right? We fought for power. Well, the first two paragraphs talk about how my older brother used to just beat the living hell out of me. The second paragraph is key. It says, but Kenny figured something out. He realized when his older brother would force him into the net while playing street hockey and shoot frozen tennis balls at his head, Kenny figured out if he stopped him, it would piss him off. For 30 years, this article has been screaming back at me. I don't want to be a pro goalie. I don't want to stand in front of a hard rubber disc going 100 miles an hour, pounding me just like my brother. All I wanted to do was get my power back from a brother who was bigger. Worst day cycle, 3D movie. The brain seeks to repeat what it knows. Now, listen. When you listen to athletes talk about their life story, listen to how the act of hitting somebody will correlate. Now remember I said this translates into careers. Well, let's look at that. I know if you're in real estate, you either moved in influential time, you moved a lot, or there was some type of chaos in your house because what's the process of buying and selling homes? Pure chaos. What about somebody who's in sales? Well, I know somebody who's in sales was told either directly or indirectly that they had no worth. Because think about it, I could sell $20 billion today, but where do I start tomorrow? Zero, no worth. What about insurance? Well, what do they do? They insure your safety. There was no safety growing up. It goes over and over, and that's why Gallup's done another poll. For decades, only 7% of the population has been truly satisfied with their job. Worst day cycle, 3D movie, the brain seeks to repeat what it knows. Now remember I said in one of my relationships I was physically and verbally abused. Well, my older brother, you can see, he was huge. He used to just hold me by my head, just pummel me. There's nothing I could do. I was completely frozen. Well, let me ask you, have you ever been hit by a woman completely frozen? 3D movie, 
Worst day cycle, the brain seeks to repeat what it knows.